Hey everyone, it's Daniel here from VoiceFlow. I know a ton of you use Bubble to create your apps. And so I'm gonna show you how to embed a chat widget, so this one over here, on your website that's powered by all of your help documentation. So you can see over here, I've got a really quick VoiceFlow project. And in here, I've got some help docs from Bear Metrics. And here on my app, I've got a chat widget that I can go ahead and ask any question. So I can ask it something like, how do I add a goal? And it's gonna be able to search through all the documentation that I uploaded to my VoiceFlow project and actually answer the user's question using GPT and other language models. So you can see here, it's actually structured it in one, two, three, four and provided me the answer. I'll ask it one more thing like, what is MRR? And again, it's gonna go through all the documents that I've uploaded and actually find the answer for it. So to do this is really quick and really simple. All you gotta do is go into VoiceFlow uh, and create a new project. Uh, so you wanna create a web chat project. To save you some time, I've got a template for this one uh, that you can find in the link or on our templates page. And once you're in here, the most important thing for you to do is go to Knowledge Base and actually start uploading your documents. So I've uploaded five here. Let's go ahead and add in one more. So you can add up to 500 different documents. Um, and if you can do URL, PDF, text, uh, really whatever you want. So once you go ahead and add that, it'll take a couple seconds to actually process. But once it's done, you can start asking it questions. So let's go ahead and hit preview and ask it something like, what is a trend line? So it's gonna be able to look through all the documents that I've generated here and actually find me the right answer. And it'll tell me where it's coming from. So super powerful. Once that's done, I can actually go ahead and hit play and actually test out my system if I want. So let's go see first message welcome test support, enter a question. Let's go ahead and change this to analytic support. Awesome. So that looks good now. Let's just hit run one more time and see what that looks like. Perfect. And now I can ask any questions. So I'm ready to go. The next thing I want to do is go to integrations. And here's where I can actually add in my logo, customize the color, the spacing, the title, anything I want. Um, and this is the web chip snippet that I'm going to need for Bubble. So before I do that, I'm just going to go ahead and hit publish. I'm ready here. We'll call this website ready version. And now that's publishing. So once this is done, it's going to prompt me to actually embed the widget on my site. So let's go to embed widget. I'm going to copy this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my bubble app. So this is the bubble app that I've got set up here. Let's go ahead and delete the element I've already got. Then what you want to do is take the HTML block and drag it to anywhere on the app you want this to be. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it right over here uh, on the top. And in here is where I put the snippet. So paste and we're good to go. So that's it. We're done. This, the HTML snippet is there. You want to make sure that you don't click this, this. make sure this is empty. Um, and that way it's just going to run in the background. So once you're done, um, you can go ahead and hit deploy to live. Oops, a uh, new version. And you are good to go. And so now if we actually go to our live site here, once this loads up, you'll see that our widget appears in the bottom. And if I go ahead and click it, uh, let me just start a new conversation here. So end chat, start a new chat. You'll see that it's refreshed with the new name that I gave it. And I can ask it again, uh, what is a trend line? And it's going to be able to search through our documents and actually answer that question. So super powerful, very easy. Um, and we'll include more tutorials on how to actually build a more complex assistant. So you can use this for simple FAQ, but you can also start doing it to, for things like check my balance, sign out, sign in, uh, a bunch of other automations that you can set up. So we'll show you how to build more advanced voiceover projects once you get in the tool. But let us know if you start using this and happy building.